Good morning and welcome back to the second uh, video on straight line graphs and we're going to have a look at how you would write up an equation if you were given a, a picture of a straight line and then we're also going to have a look at how do you um, generate the equation of a straight line when given two um, coordinates of that graph. Alright, so first things first, Please remember, I always call it the cookie cutter mold is for a straight line is y is equal to mx plus c. That m is for the gradient. If it's a positive gradient, it's going to have an increasing graph. If it is a negative gradient, it's going to be a decreasing graph. And that plus c or negative c there at the back. Right, then it says write up the formula of the following graph um, that has been sketched. So over here, you've got your Cartesian chain, and you've got two points and a graph that has been sketched there. And they're asking you to generate the equation of this graph. So first things first, you always start with your cookie cutter mold. Y is equal to mx plus c. Now, if you have a look at this equation, there is a part over there that we can read from this graph immediately. And we know that that back side, I always call it the back side of that equation, is the y-intercept. So if you go and look at the y-intercept, where it crosses the y-axis is at negative 3. So you can replace that positive c with a negative 3. Right, so now we are left with finding the only other missing value, which is the gradient. Okay, so y is equal to mx minus 3 we already have. Okay, how to find the gradient? Luckily for this one, it's quite easy because you've got a grid and you can actually just read it off the graph. Is this going to be an increase or a decreasing graph? It's a decreasing graph. So if you had a little person there standing on top, he's going to go wee down the hill. Okay, so it's a decreasing graph. So we know that our gradient must be a negative. And with a, gradient, a negative gradient, I've taught you to sink over swim. So if you work from left to right, if you start from here and you look for your first dot, over there it is, how did I get from my first coordinate there or intersection to my second dot over there? So how many did I sink with and how many did I swim with? So if you have a look, you went down with three and you went, you swam with three. So if you had to plot that into your little equation, so gradient is equal to 3 over 3, which makes it a 1. But be careful, please have a look. This is a negative gradient. So you know that your gradient must be a negative 1. Okay, and that is how you would find your equation. Y is equal to negative x minus 3. And we all know that you don't have to write that one over there. Um, but we won't mark it wrong either if it's there. But the formula there would be y is equal to negative x minus 3. Right, let's look at the next slide. Write up the formula of the following given uh, two, two random given points. So um, I give you a Cartesian plane. There's no grids. And I just give you two random points plotted on that grid. And there's your equation or there's your, um, your graph drawn. Okay, so the two points are 1, 1 and 2, 4. Okay, again, we're going to start with our cookie cutter mold. We write down y is equal to mx plus c. So over here, you could see with the previous slide, we could easily read off the y-intercept. So if you look over here, the y-intercept has not been given, and there's not even a grid to read it off. So we cannot start with the y-intercept. So we have to start with finding the gradient. Now there's a way to find the gradient, and um, scientifically written it's for the gradient, for m, it's the change of y over change of x. So if you remember, sink over swim, or rise over run. What am I actually doing first? I'm doing the change of the y-intercept. So if I had to go from this point to that point, it's the change of the y. Can you see that if I go up, it's the change of the numbers if that's correlating here to the y-axis. So it's the change of the y over how many did I change of the x-axis? So that is y, and please remember that it's always change of y on top. Change of y over change of x. And what it basically means is that we're going to take the y value of the one coordinate minus the y um, value of the second coordinate. And again, 
over x, change of the x's first coordinate over, or uh, sorry, uh, change it minus the uh, coordinate of the uh, the second, uh, sorry, minus the x value of the second coordinate. So let me just write it up for you like that. I always plot my two points again, and then I make a little heart over the y axis or the y values, so that I know it's the change of the y's over the other two that hasn't been highlighted. So for m, it's the change of y. So it doesn't matter if you start from the bottom to the top or from the top to the bottom. It doesn't matter as long as when you do the change of x, you start at the same point that you started with, with the change of y's. So let me just explain this so that you can visualize it. So I'm going to say 4 minus 3, so top minus bottom, over change of x. So where did I start? Top minus bottom. You can also say bottom minus top, so it will be 1 minus 4 over 1 minus 2, and you will get exactly the same value. Okay, so 4 minus 1 gives you 3, and 2 minus 1 gives you 1. So the gradient there, we can see that it's a positive because it's an increasing graph, and the gradient number there is 3. So now, so far, we've got y is equal to 3x plus c. So the only other missing now value is the, um, the y-intercept here, which we still don't have. But we've got placeholders here for x and a y. So if you go and replace any one of these two coordinates, that one, yes, you can. This one, if you want to, any one of these into the y and the x value there, then you will be left with no other variable but the c. And then you will find the y-intercept like that. Okay, so I'm going to choose, I think the 1-1 one, one looks very nice. I always choose the one without a negative, the one that looks easiest to, um, to insert and to simplify then, or to work out. So I'm going to replace the x value with 1 and the y value with 1. So that x is going to change with a 1 and the y is going to change with a 1. Okay, and then all you need to do after that is you just simplify. 3 times 1 is 3. And if you bring that over, 1 minus 3 gives you negative 2. So C, the y-intercept, is negative 2. And you can just go check yourself. Is it correct? Does it lie at the bottom of the y-axis to make it a negative? Yes, it does. So my answer should be a negative. So it's most pro probably right. Okay, and then please remember, they asked you to generate a formula. So you have to write up the equation at the end. You cannot just say, there, there's my C value, there's my uh, gradient value. You have to go and put it all together into your equation. So the equation of that line would be Y is equal to 3X minus 2. Right, let's have a look at another um, example where I ask you to write up a form formula when two points are given. So if your one point is given as 1, negative 3, and the other one is 3, um, negative 3, 1, and I draw that line, and I ask you to work out the equation of that straight line. So again, your cookie cutter mold, y is equal to mx plus c. We do not know where it cuts through the y-axis, so we cannot use that. So we cannot start with the backside. So we have to start with the gradient. And why I'm doing this um, example is I want you to please take note of the double negatives. Um, I'll explain now. Okay, so for gradient, is change of y over change of x. I'm just writing my two points there, and I'm going to highlight... Um, my y um, um, uh, values over there, and then, okay, I'm going to start from top to bottom, so change of y is 1 minus what? Negative 3, so please make sure, be careful for that double negative, 1 minus what? Minus 3, so that will become 1 plus 3, over change of x, minus 3, minus 1, okay, that simplified will give you a negative 1, and you write that up y is equal to negative 1x, or just y is equal to x, uh, sorry, y is equal to negative x plus c. So now you, ch you choose um, a coordinate. I chose the top part, where the x's value is negative 3 and the y's value is 1. I replace that in there. Negative times a negative is a positive. 
So 1 is equal to a positive 3 plus c. And you take that positive 3 over and you minus it. 1 minus 3 will give you negative 2. Have a look at your graph. Do you see that the y-intercept is a negative? And it could be negative 2 because it does lie between um, a 1 and a negative 3. Do you see there? That would have been negative 3 over there and that would have been the 1. So it can lie. It does make sense. Okay, so your equation would be y is equal to negative x minus 2. Alright, let's have a look at another equation or another question where they didn't draw the straight line, they just give you the two points. And that is very easy because we just work with those two points and then again we're going to say, alright, for the um, gradient, you start off by finding the gradient. For the gradient, change of y over change of x. So just to show you that you don't have to have a sketch drawn, you can also just be given the two points. So I'm going to start at the bottom this time. So 8 minus what? Minus 2 over 6 minus 4 is equal to 10 over 2. So the gradient would be 5. I go and replace that into my cookie cutter mold. Y is equal to 5x plus C. And then I'm going to replace a point. I chose the, the second coordinate, 6, 8. And I replaced the X value with 6 and the Y value with 8. And then if you simplify that, c is going to be negative 22. Always remember to write up your equation y is equal to 5x minus 22. Right, let's quickly have a look at the level 4 type question um, of straight line graphs. What could have been given um, a little bit differently? Okay, the following two coordinates are given below of a straight line. In this coordinate, you can see that the one coordinate is incomplete. There's a, um, a 0, 3 as the one coordinate, coordinate, and the other one is a 1, y. So we've got a missing y value there. They say, if the straight line has a gradient of negative 2, calculate, it, sorry, calculate the missing coordinate's y value. So please complete this coordinate by finding the y value of this coordinate. Okay, so some of you might say, oh, this is easy, and some of you say, mm, I would just have to think a little bit. Okay, but let me ha help you. So the gradient, so they give me the answer. The gradient is negative 2. Okay, very important. So for change, for the m, for the gradient, it's change of y over change of x. So let's just replace our values, and we keep the y as a value. So change of y, so I'm going to start at the top, 3 minus y over 0 minus 1. So what we can go and replace over here is the gradient because we know now know the gradient is negative 2. So in your equation you're going to write the gradient up as negative 2 and then you just have to do the inverse operation the whole time to get to the y value over there. So what you can see is that this um, fraction or this y or 3 minus y, is being divided by negative 1. How do you do the inverse of division, of dividing with negative 1? You times by negative 1. But what you do on the one side, you have to do on the other side as well. So if I times with negative 1 on both sides, a negative 2 times a negative 1 will give me a positive 2. And then I'm left with the top part there, 3 minus y. Then you take this 3 over, 2 and it becomes minus 3 gives you negative 1 is equal to negative y and you divide with a negative on both sides and you get y is 1. All right and there you have all the types of questions that you can get um, with straight line graphs. Have a wonderful day. Goodbye.